Hey guys, it's the Chad. In today's video, I want to talk to you about GM's most popular truck wheels, the old 15 by 8 steel rallies. Now, if you've ever owned a 1967 to 87 Chevy or GMC pickup, I'm sure they either came with these or you went out and bought a set and put them on your old truck. Now, GM got it right with these wheels because they went from the old steelies to these guys. Now, these are extremely strong because they are steel and they just look awesome. Well, by now, I'm sure most of you guys know that I'm a huge 1967 to 72 Chevy C10 guy. Now, these old rallies just looked awesome on that era of trucks. But did you know that these were never an option back then? Back then, they would have came with the steelies with some type of dog dish hubcap. Or if you had the fancy ones, you know, the going to town units, they would have had this full face wheel cover. Now, these old 15 by 8 rallies, they didn't come out till the square body era, and they've stood the test of time. They've been around for almost 50 years and people are still putting them on their trucks. Now there's not much to these old wheels. They're steel and they have aluminum beauty ring and a center cap. So if you guys don't already have a set of these rallies on your truck and you're looking to buy some used ones from Craigslist, Marketplace, or even a junkyard, you need to do a little bit of research. Now GM made several different types of these wheels over the 73 to 87 era. Now they all look very similar, but they're all very different. So let's go through and just try to eliminate some of the confusion that comes along with these old truck rallies. Now, if you're going through and you have a five lug truck, make sure you're buying a five lug rally. Now, probably the most popular and easiest to find is gonna be the old 15 by eight five lug. Now these look pretty awesome on the old C10s, but don't get confused because GM also made a 15 by six, a 15 by six and a half, and a 15 by seven, all in the five lug. But how in the world are you supposed to know the difference of the widths? Well, the easiest for me is to actually flip a wheel over and look at the back. Now, if you flip these wheels over, you'll see a stamping in it. A 15 by 6 and a half, 15 by 7, or even a 15 by 8. But if you can't find the old stamping or it's just too dirty, just grab the old faithful tape measure. And GM measures from inside bead to outside bead. And you can see that this one is an 8 inch. So I think one of the most common errors people make is they're looking for these old 15 by 8 five lugs. So they go out to a swap meet or a salvage yard and they buy these. Now these look very similar, but they're different. The difference is, is this is a 15 by 6 and a half GM van wheel. Now there's hundreds of thousands of these out there, but you need to ensure that you are buying the proper width for your truck. So measure it or flip it over. Now when we talk about stamping, there are some other markings on these wheels itself, such as this XAJ. Now the 15 by eight five lugs would have been a XAJ, a CK, a BM, or a BK. Now the six lugs, they have different stamping as well. Now if we slide over to the old six lugs, these would have been very popular on the 1967 to 70 two wheel drives or a 1967 to 72 four wheel drive. Now, these were produced in a 15 by 8 and a 15 by 7, which was pretty rare. Now, there is a lot of confusion of what the heck GM put these 7 inch wide wheels on. Some people out there say that they came on early blazers, and others seem to think that they were a spare wheel. The reason why they say that is because all the mounting points for the center cap are not drilled out on a 7 inch where they were on the 8 inch. Now, if you guys happen to know, what these came on, type it down the old clickety-clack because I'm pretty interested and I can't seem to find the answer. Now, a lot of folks out there like running offset. They like putting these 15 by eights on the back and a 15 by seven on the front. Now, that can be very helpful too if you're doing some type of disc brake conversion on the front, it helps tuck these wheels in a little bit more. Now, another difference we see on the six lugs is they have 10 slots cut out on their wheels versus the 16 on a five lug. All the five lugs were five on five bolt pattern, whereas the six lugs were a six on five and a half. So if you wanna get a little more technical with the width and backspacing of these old rally wheels, let's start with the 15 by eight five lug. These would have been a four and a quarter inch backspacing. The 15 by seven five lug would have been three and five eighths. The six and a half GM van wheel would have been a four inch backspace. Now, if we slide over to the six lugs, the 15 by seven and the 15 by eight 
would have had a four inch backspacing. So let's talk about the beauty rings. Now, if you have a 15 inch truck rally, make sure you're buying a 15 inch beauty ring. Now, GM produced lots of different beauty rings for different sizes and different vehicles over the years. Now, one way I can tell that this is a truck rally beauty ring is it has a cutout for the valve stem here. And if you flip it over, it's got all these pinch or compression points going all the way around the ring. And that's to go through and be able to wedge this onto the actual wheel itself. Now, when we look at the center caps, the original GM ones would have been metal. Now, you can buy these in the aftermarket world that are plastic, and they look really good, but if you're trying to stay original, make sure you find a metal one. Now, your choices would have been a GMC or a Chevrolet, but do ensure if you have a five lug wheel, you're buying a five lug center cap. So if we take a closer look at those six lugs, these look similar to the five lugs, but they had six holes. Now they were still metal, chrome, but they were quite a bit bigger than the five lugs. Reason being was all the six lug truck rallies were for four wheel drives. All the five lugs were for two wheel drives. Hence, that's why we have the four by four stickers. Now you would have had this center cap or you would have had one with the center cut out and that would have been for the four wheel drive hub. Now, a lot of guys elect to go through and take these old six lug rallies and put them on their 67 to 70 C10s because they'll fit, but a lot of them don't like how big the center cap is. You can see it's quite a bit bigger than the five lug. Now, it's not that bad if you ask me, but if you put these on a 15 by seven, I just think it looks terrible. But an option you have out there is to go through and buy a set of these. Now, these are six lug plastic chrome center caps off of a 1988 to 1998 Chevy. Now, if you put these side by side with the four wheel drive caps, you can tell they're quite a bit smaller. The way these work is you'll stick them on the wheels, but you're gonna need a conversion duplex lug nut, something that goes onto the wheel stud and then has threads on the outside of the lug nut. That way you can take the plastic lug nut covers and spin them right on. But I think this is a pretty cool option. I was able to pick up a set of these off of the eBay for 40 bucks. Now, one last thing you need to be aware of is, did you know that Mopar also made a rally wheel for some of their early 70s cars? And they look very similar to these. Now, the difference is they would add a different bolt pattern and they would have lacked a lot of the stamping on the front and backside of the wheels. So before you go throw your hard earned money out the window, Make sure you do your research and buy the wheels that are gonna fit your truck. So hopefully after watching my video, you guys have a little bit more confidence to go online to Craigslist, Marketplace, or even a junkyard and get you a good set of rallies for your old truck. Now, if you guys know of any other differences to these truck rallies, type them down the old clickety clack. And while you're there, smash the like button and subscribe. That way I can go through and make more videos like this. And make sure you stick around for next week's video. I'm gonna show you how to take these rallies that you just bought clean them up, and make them look like new again. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.